I often ask myself, how on earth did this happen? How on earth did it happen? When I look at all the sides to reality, that's all I can ask myself. How on earth did this happen in the first place and then continue for all these centuries? If you know, let me know. If you know, let me know what you know. This is D's critique. And before you leave, I invite you to like the video, share it with friends, and hit that subscribe button to show your support for the movement. Thank you. I am not, and have never been a student of history, but I often think about the following reality in the world. There are several races of people on the planet, you will agree with me I believe, but there are these two races, one known as, black, and the other as, white. Of course those terms refer to negroid skinned people and those who are Caucasian. There is this unending situation unfolding between these two races. The Negroid or Black race accuses the Caucasian or White race of oppressing them and enslaving them for centuries. The Negroids blame the Caucasian for every woe they experience, up until today. I am not hereby declaring that I do not believe that the Caucasian race is guilty as charged, and neither am I saying that every woe of the Negroid race is as a result of the Caucasian race. What is being examined here is the reality of the Negroid race prior to it becoming subject to the Caucasian race. History, folklore and fables, legend, bears out the fact that the Negroid race is a mighty race, with direct connections to various different deities. It is said that black people communicated directly with the gods, even the everlasting god. There are stories of black people who were able to travel in their spirit outside of rare bodies, become invisible, command nature, shape shift, cast spells and heal physically and spiritually. Such a people is indeed a mighty, formidable people who should have remained dominant on the planet as long as life lasts, but look and behold a day came when Caucasians, according to the history books, traveled into the land possessed by this mighty negroid race, and subdued it just about totally. These Caucasian people are not renowned for possessing any powers on the scale of the negroid race, yet they went and saw and conquered, and the question is, how did they do it? How was it possible for strangers, Caucasians to enter the land of Alkabu and subsequently make the people hostage in their own land. That answer evaded my mind despite the hours I dedicate to finding it. And this is how I pursue information and logical thought here at Discritic. I don't accept things without preferring questions which serve to help me understand deeper than what appears on the surface of whatever the situation is. So if Alkabu land was possessed by masters of spirituality who wielded the kind of power described above, what did the Caucasians do? What was their approach? Had God Almighty ordained for Alkabu land to be subdued by strangers and be laid waste for centuries? If that is the reality of the situation then I would accept it as is, maybe as a result of disobedience on the part of the Negroid people in some previous point in time, but then wouldn't such a disobedient act be recorded in the Holy Bible? Is it recorded there somewhere? If it is, and you listening to this can accurately make the connection, please share in the comments below the video. 
As I continue to think about this dominance of the Caucasian race over the Negroid race I see evidence of foul play and trickery, and subversion on the part of the Caucasian in a space where the Negroid race was trusting. Do you see it that way? Or do you see a Negroid race that was despondent while the Caucasian race was all about inventing and transforming its world? Or is it that rare and precious information was stolen from the trusting Negroid people and then used to build the Caucasian legacy as we know it now? What is the truth about all of this? Can you see things reversed to a time where the Negroid race once again rule as kings and queens on this planet? How will they rule, and what regard will they have for the Caucasian race? But with all of that, what about the other races? Are they fighting wars we know nothing about? Why are there wars anywhere? Dot dot dot. And finally, where is the God of the universe in all of this? Tell me if you know. This is at Discritique. Catch you in the next video sometime soon.